right there. Hi, we're Derek and Jenna. We started our homesteading journey in 2011 with five small children, a garden, and a few chicks. Since then, we've added three more kids and a whole lot of animals. We're currently renting 37 acres in the Blue Ridge Mountains where we raise grass-fed beef, grass-fed dairy, pastured poultry and pork, free-range eggs, and a large garden. We also have a couple pet goats, several barn cats, and a beagle. We're working on moving from growing just our own food to selling locally. We homeschool our children and are a full-time family with hopes and goals of farming for a living. We would love to welcome y'all to follow our family on our journey. Okay. Hey y'all. <laughs> hey. We've got a pallet of alpha hay Yay. for our cows. We're gonna do some experimenting, feeding it to the pigs as well. Um, we have to move Cookie because she's due in 23 days. No, 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 25 days, right? Yeah, yeah 25 days. Know. She's 25 doing 25 days. Like, days. I don't know. So we're gonna put her, I gotta keep you in the yeah. frame. I'm gonna put her behind the house and uh, so we can keep an eye on her just because she's getting close. We don't want her to be off in the woods or something having a calf. Yeah. And um, we've got a few other cows that are due to calve and starting in like 24 days, 23 days actually. Yeah. I lost the day this week evidently. <laughs> it's so been a crazy uh, week. it has been a crazy week. Uh, so we're gonna unload this alpha hay. We're gonna feed some to the cows, move Cookie and Walker and Gertie over behind the house and we're gonna run wire separate separate bob bob from the girls he's he's a good buck but he's just a little bit wilder than they want to be and yeah he's chasing them and it's not bad but it's enough where like i don't you know we don't want to stress them out stress them too much <laughs> so, so we're gonna we're, we're gonna just run a wire between them hopefully he'll respect it we don't know if he will or not we'll see yeah but that'll be an experiment as well obviously you can yeah. hear pigs screaming in the background Probably I don't know so. if you can hear it i can hear it yeah definitely all right we all right, a lot to do. let's get, get this alpha hay on the Feed room. Space in the feed room. We got to sweep it. It's kind of got new feed in there. shed. We have a feed shed. That's awesome. For free. Yes. That was awesome. This thing has been awesome. We're gonna sweep it out and then get the pallet of alpha hay in there. Looks like all of our. Uh, oh, get a flathead shovel, guys. It's kind of yucky. Seriously. Looks like our warmer that we made up. This one got spilled in here. Oh man. So, for those of you who don't know what alpha hay is, it is uh, alfalfa that is chopped and then fermented with apple cider vinegar. So it actually has a lot more nutrition, it holds more nutrition um, than dried alfalfa or alfalfa pellets. So we have been feeding alfalfa pellets to our dairy cows, well the birdies, the cookies, not milk, um, because we have to, <laughs> oh, I thought we had a chicken fight, Kylie was grabbing a chicken. So anyway, because we have to drive like over an hour to get the alpha hay. Um, so unless we buy it in quantity, it's just not worth the drive. So we've been getting alfalfa pellets from the local feed store. But um, we were able to go ahead and get 
the alpha hay and get a pallet of it since cookies do soon we wanted to make sure we had plenty on hand and we are going to go ahead and try to feed some to the pigs so they'll get a mix of our non-gmo soy free coin free um, feed as well as the alpha hay. all right the chickens have been there a lot so they may fight the mess they're not supposed to be in there but sometimes <laughs> certain people and <laughs> others uh, not just that one. Certain eight people. Yes. Leave and the doors open. And others, yeah. So. so. And a lot of that is feed that got spilled and then got wet and you know, yada, yada, yada. Yucky, yucky. Some strings from we'll the feedback. The trash out of it. Chickens can have fun with it. Yep. All right. All right. That looks Why much better. easier than I expected it to be. It was. A little iffy getting it off the trailer. Yeah, that was a little sketchy. But as long as you drop it quick enough, you're okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Don't talk to Osha. Uh -huh. Osha well, doesn't matter. Who's Osha? <laughs> Osha who? <laughs> Osha. Oh, I don't think, I don't think we're day. subject to Osha no. rules. I do what I want. <laughs> but, uh. <laughs> God bless America. <laughs> uh, yeah. There we go. We're gonna put the loader on and we'll put a bag in the bucket, in the loader bucket. Nice. All right. Let's do that real quick. Looks now. good. <laughs> Yay. There's Tony <laughs> eating out of her hand. Poor Tony. He gets his little feathers plucked out on top. Uh, his boots is a little sad. They they cut the puck in. You're gonna pour it in your bucket. Yeah. Because, oh, yeah. Cause, yeah I, I, I don't have my muck boots are wet inside. Mm. And I am not waiting out there in mud up to here. <laughs> no. Mud and cow poop and cow pee and yuck. Muck and mire. So I'm just going to dump it in my tractor bucket and take it out and dump it in their feeder. Works so. for me. All right, boss. 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 What did we uh, say, boss? So this is alpha hay. And, and it, it smells healthy. Too bad so you can't good. smell it. It would make better smell of vision oh, than the goat buck smell of vision. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Way. <laughs> So anyway, here we go. I'm going to dump this into here. This is a 50 pound bag of alpha hay. Just, it's yeah, compacted a lot. Yeah. It smells good. It lasts a lot longer. It goes a lot farther too. Yeah. It fills them up easier than the... Try not to dump it on the ground. Yeah, we'll try not to... The wait, other. the chickens will come eat it if you jump it still. I don't know if I'm a very good videographer today. And the little bits of white that you see in there, it's not mold. That's where, that's the yeast where it, uh, it's fermenting. Yep. It's actually good for the cows yep. and other ruminants. Carly, this is trash. You can put that on the burn pile. All right, well, let's go see how these Tarantays like alpha hay. I don't think I've ever fed them any, and I doubt they've ever had it in their life. No. So we're gonna go see what they think of Come on, come on. Out there. See him? Good job. She's a wide load. Bookie's coming back. You better hurry. I think she's offended. She thought it was going to be something better than that. Good boy. I got one. Here's your Cookie. Cookie, Tyler. Those cookies are not healthy. Here, Clary. 
Oh, there you go. <laughs> You're not impressed? Huh? So this is, cookie should be calving on February 2nd. Today is January 7th. Yeah. Um, unless I'm three weeks off on her, yeah. on her uh, I don't cycle. think we're I off. I know that the bull was paying attention, but there were some discrepancies. Like maybe he was paying attention to her on the next three weeks later, but I can't. I, I failed in my documentation, so I have a memory, but then I have my documentation. So. She's so wide, I she can't imagine so her. Wide, yes. There's no way she would have another six weeks. I wouldn't think. I don't think it's possible. No. Hey, Claire, she looks you pretty. Yeah. Here you go. Alright. Good girl. Well, that worked. Now Bye. you can go give these guys their hay, and then we can get... how they like Look. the alpha hay. Without There's Walker, the riding something. cow. Yeah. We gotta train him. To ride and get a cart or something. Uh, train him to pull ridiculous. a cart. <laughs> I have to build her a sled. Yeah. That's how they train draft horses. They pull yeah. a sled. <laughs> they love it. They're a little bit confused of it because it's not grain. It's not grain. Yeah. But they're gobbling it down. Oh yeah, they're gonna eat it. <laughs> There's a lot of confusion over it though, isn't there? Yeah, look at 14 loans going I know, the she's like, hmm. I'm gonna root my way back in here since you don't have anything else for me. I guess I'll just eat this. <laughs> it's way better for them than grain. Way better for their rumens. Right, usually, like with dairy animals, and like the when we first introduce alpha hay to them, they're like they snub their nose at it, and then after two or three days, it's like they can't get enough of it. And uh, so, like number thirty is like, eh, I don't know, it's okay, it's okay. Let me see if I can find another way to get in. In the spot that tastes better. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're doing. <laughs> that's exactly right. So I would call it a success. You'd never see like right here's number four, number one. You'd never see her come out of the feed pan until it was all gone, except for this. So, but their palates, just like their palates, develop a uh, taste for it. Yeah. And then, then there's Ian over here being all goofy. <laughs> It's a, it's a weird looking little cow or a little steer. He didn't like us. No, he does not. He's been wild from day one. He is crazy. Alright, well, I'd say that's a success. Let's see if we can get this goat fence put up and the goats separated. We're going to just do this. Okay. Huh? Okay. Alright, so... <laughs> Are you okay? We're gonna try to get these goats separated and moved around so that uh, we can rescue Coco Mama and Bob and Rosemary from Bob. The worst part is, I think, is they go in the little doghouse <laughs> and at night and, and they'll go in there and then he sticks his head in there and headbutts them. Well, and he hits the doghouse and, to the point where he knocked the whole top off of it <laughs> in oh, the well, night. Uh, I'm laughing. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, I didn't realize that was empty when I grabbed Oops. it. So, yeah, that won't work. Alright, we Bob. got these two over here on this side, which was originally the side we were going to try to keep Bob on, but they are going through the fence or under it, and at least Rosemary is. That's okay. He's uh, been popped by it twice, and he did not like it, so he's staying over there so far. we got to get their house, the girl's house, and move over here. He's been laying inside the truck bed. <laughs> so I don't think he'd, he's worried about the house. He's crazy. He's funny. He is. But, yep, we'll, uh, this might actually work then. I hope. He's definitely respecting the fence. Jack, come in here and help me. Yes, sir. We'll try to move their house over here. Then we'll take your tailgate off and take the bumper out of your bed and try to flip it over. That'll give him something to get under. Alright, I don't know if we can do this. We're going to try it. Uh, no, don't hurt yourself. I'm not planning to. We can do something okay. different. One, two, three. Oh. You're going to hit the fence. Uh -huh. 
I think it'll clear the fence on it. If you don't want to close the fence, we'll hop over it. You're gonna have to move it back to the middle. I don't know that he'll go under that. We have reached this level of classy. We are turning a truck bed over to use this shelter for an animal. You guys, we've reached that level of classy. That's a nice way of saying redneck. <laughs> I mean, what better animal could a goat want this huge? Animal shelter, you mean? Whatever. He can't even go into there. He's too tall. If he fits in that, he fit in there. Yeah, I don't know. He can go in there. You can fit ten of him in there. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. That was their big idea, not mine. We need to... Just like that. All right. We should set it on there and pass it, and they can have an elevated house. Yeah, I don't think so. All right. Well, they could live like the Swiss Family Robinsons. Your cousin pulled up. Well, there you go, Meep, sir. Bob. His name Bob. Is Bob. He calls him Meep because we had a yeah. lunar Nigerian. No, he's a Nubian. Nubian buck, and we lived in Florida for our Nubian goats that named Meep, so he is always calling him Meep. Like his name Meeps. is Bob. Yeah. But Meep's is a good name. And then we had a buckling, and we named him Meep's Junior because he looked <laughs> just like his daddy. We got Jack's gloves. My hands were cold. And one of you got these gloves for us, and we really appreciate it. They're awesome. Thank yes. you so much. You got I've got, I've got a new pair, but I'm, I'm not wearing my new ones yet. You're wearing these, those ones out. Yeah. I actually cut them with a grinder the other day and cut Thanks. my thumb at yeah. the same time. Ouch. But, uh, anyway, these gloves are drying on my hands. And they're <laughs> awesome, though. We got this up, so it looks like it's gonna work. We're gonna get him some more hay, some water, and get them. And he's some got hay. hay. He just oh, yeah, needs water. Oh yeah, he's got the hay feeder. That's yeah. Right. So anyway, we're gonna get them all situated and uh, make sure everybody is happy. And or at least these cozy. girls are happy. Yeah, I, don't think, sure. I don't think he's gonna be happy. No, but. he's probably not gonna be very happy with us for a while, but it'll be okay. So, all right, these two girls. He definitely uh, bred both of them. Whether they were, I mean, they were in heat. Oops. I don't know this number. Anyway, uh, he definitely covered them, so hopefully in three weeks they don't come back in heat and we will be having babies. Yay! Yep. All right, we'll catch you guys later.